Hi. You know, with everything going down in West Palm Beach and the holidays right around the corner, I couldn't think of a better time to share one of my favorite children's classics. It's called How the Grinch Stole the Election. <laughs> And uh, I'd like to read it to you now, shall we? Every Jew down in Jewville liked elections a lot. But the Grinch, who lived over in Austin, did not. I know they'll be voting for Gore, he was thinking. By Wednesday, the latest, I'll be back to my drinking. Election day came and the voting was close. At one point, the Grinch even started to boast. It's the Grinch by a nose, all the newsmen exclaimed. Even Dan Rather, who was clearly insane. <laughs> but was he the winner? Hey, not so fast. Al Gore called him up and said, Grinch, kiss my ass. The race was too, too tight to say who was elected. The Grinch was so stressed, his face got infected. All eyes turned to Jewville to sort out the mess, but Hyman and Herschel and dear old Aunt Beth were too senile to vote for the one that they liked. They poked the wrong hole and joined the Third Reich. The Jews down in Jewville took to the streets to complain about fraud, not to mention the heat. The Grinch said something that couldn't be kosher. This election, my friends, is perfectly kosher. Then a judge ruled each vote must be counted by hand. The Grinch said, that's not what my brother Jed had planned. His lawyers filed motions, injunctions, and writs demanding that Gore and the Jews call it quits. But just when the Grinch thought the deal had gone through, he met Cindy Lou Lipschitz, aged 92. <laughs> Why, she cried, did you steal our election? He just laughed and gave her a lethal injection. They say the Grinch's ego grew three sizes that day. Unfortunately, his brain went the opposite way. So here's a lesson for now and for later. Don't blame me, I voted for Nader.